Hi, I'm Matt Denton. I am here at the VNA demonstrating uh, Hexapod robots. The first Hexapod is uh, a small, small unit, a little white Hexapod, which uh, is actually a kit one now, and uh, it's fairly basic, but has uh, mandibles for the for the head. It means you can walk around and pick stuff up. But it's also been uh, equipped with a small camera today, so um, there's a bit of software running on a laptop and this software looks, uh, takes the feed from the camera and looks for red objects. So at the moment it's following a little red ball around. Um, so the next hexapod is uh, a bigger version of the same kit, so it's a big black hexapod. And uh, again, it has a mandible for the head, so it's a set of jaws that it can pick things up with. Um, today it's just been used like a remote control car, so from a set of joysticks I can control its walking direction, I can control the speed that it walks at, I can control its body attitude, so again the pitch and rotates and the yaw. This machine is a lot more advanced, uh, it's a heavier machine, it's more stable and it has sensors in the feet which are basically just switches so it can tell when it's in contact with the floor. Uh, the other two machines, their world is a flat surface, that's all they know about. This machine can walk over rough terrain because it can know when it's touching the floor. So. For example, if I pick it up, the legs will search for the, for the table and as I put it back down again, I can put it back down on my hand and it will adapt to the shape of my hand and the table. This is a hexapod which has been given uh, a camera again for its head. It's been stylized, the head, a lot of it is just um, for show, but there's a little CCD camera in there and that's feeding back to a computer system that sits underneath of it. And that computer system has a much more advanced algorithm which is looking for faces. So it looks for eyes and uh, the mouth of a face in a crowd of people. And uh, once it's picked up a face, it could track multiple faces, but it'll find the closest one to it and it'll start tracking it. So as the person moves around, the, the camera will move around with it, follow them about. It's super cool. Well, it's quite interesting because uh, it has like human-like movements and the way it looks at your face, it's strange, you know, you realize the machine but then it's kind of following you and behaving like a, like a, life, like a living thing. Yeah, amazing. Really excellent uh, talk on the work that he's done um, and really, really great to be able to interact with him and talk to him about the, you know, something that he obviously cares a lot about. So, yeah, really excellent. <laughs>